What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of What's Next. Today we'll be talking about actually kind of two topics. Uh, it's kind of a mixture a little bit in a sense of up and coming because we're not talking much about this. So so we're just going to hop right into it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim and Elder Scrolls 6. Now Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim, just to kind of recap of what was going on at E3, they announced that Skyrim will be being re is going to be remastered. However, it's going to have mod capabilities for consoles. Now we don't know what the counts, what the mods are going to be, or how many mods are going to be. How you're going to create the mods, or the mods can be created through the console, or they can be created through PC and uploaded to consoles. We really don't know. Are they going to have to be approved by? Obviously, they're probably going to be approved by Sony. But like, are you going to have to send them in to get them to approve and, and, and things like that, or are we just going to be able to make them on the consoles, which make things a little bit easier, probably, or harder in a sense? I don't know. I've never used mods before. I've never created mods before. Don't know how that works. All the DLC is going to be included. There's going to be updated graphics and re revamped. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be 60, 60p, but um, or 60p, 60 frames per second. I don't. Either way, I don't care. Skyrim is going to be amazing. I love Skyrim. It's going to be amazing. Um, now we're gonna. While we're on the topic, we're gonna hop back on to uh, Elder Scrolls Six. Elder Scrolls Six is. Mind-blowingly confusing and hard to predict because there is just so much we don't know and so much we know. Uh, Elder Scrolls 6 is predicted to be in Argonia. That's like the biggest rumor. Uh, I'm sorry, I completely don't believe that. I really don't. Um... Argonia it seems very uh, unlikely for one fact all the sky all the Elder Scrolls have been named after a province after three Morrowind Oblivion uh, actually Oblivion has not because Oblivion was named Oblivion and Cyrodiil basically so I'm sorry uh, it was also but it, it was all the then there was Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim so I believe that it's going to be named after the province I believe uh, so I honestly believe it's going to be not in Argonia, because Argonia just seems really unlikely, because what's there going on in Argonia? I want you to tell me, please. I really don't know. I want to know. I just don't believe it will be in Argonia. Uh, I believe it's going to be in a place we least expect it. Uh, I, I, well, I actually have a couple theories. I believe it's going to be a place we least expect. I believe it's going to be in either Elsewhere, or maybe even Valenwood, or maybe Hammerfell. But there's a reason I, be I really don't believe Hammerfell will be in it. Uh, Hammerfell has been... I mean, it, they I guess it, they, they won their independence from the Empire after the Great War because they didn't get their, what they wanted out of the deal because they felt they were abandoned by the Empire. And eventually they won the Empire back out. Hammerfell became the free after they won the war. Or, well, after Hammerfell pushed the elves out. Uh, but... I believe that the best topics are Delaware and Valenwood, precisely for the reason that I believe they're, they, the next Elder Scrolls 6 should have the Great War in it. Uh, the next Great War, at least. Because in, in Elder Scrolls 5, they always talk about the Great War and how the Great War is happening, how the Great War is here. Everything, like, how there's, there's a Great War settlement with the White, uh, White Gold Concordat. I cannot think of what it was named. Uh, is not going to be permanent, it's not going to be real, or it's not going to hold things off, it was just a setback and a temporary piece to settle things down. So I believe this is going to be a second great war, and it's either going to take place in the province of either Valenwood or elsewhere, hell, it could even take place in bigger, because we don't even know what the engine's like yet, and the engine could be massive, for all we know. Um, I, I have no clue. The engine has not been made, so we don't know what it's going to look like, what it's going to be like. What is it gonna look like? Is I believe it's Todd. No, I can't think of who it was who said it. Um, it might have been Todd Howard, um, who said they don't have the technology yet for for making Elder Scrolls Six, which is understandable because Elder Scrolls Six is still a long way away. Um, I predict 2019 if that's how things are going, if it sets the stand, if it's keep going on the trend it's been because they're going and the games been coming out every four years. Uh, Oblivion was in 2007, Skyrim was 2011. Yeah, I think it was 2011. Might have been 2012. I think it was 2011. Um, and Elder Scrolls Online was 2015. So every four years when games have been coming out, so the next four years, 2019. Granted, it's almost 20. It's halfway through 2016 now, so 
it's not that far away, but it's still really far away. Uh, I honestly believe Elder Scrolls Six should, is going to include the next Great War, and it's going to take place somewhere in Ellisware or Valenwood. Um, it's going to be awesome. I feel like it's going to be really awesome. I feel like they need to do something of the sort where it's kind of like you can. Well, I mean, this is where I'll, uh, that's one of my reason, one of my theories. Another one of my theories is that they're going to continue Skyrim, and that they're going to do something of the sort, kind of like. Uh, Dragon Age and make a place where you can build and keep, kind of like Dragon Age Keep did. They're going to do that with, with uh, the next Elder Scrolls. Or, they're going to do something where you can do, you can retransfer your Elder Scrolls 5 Remastered, Sky Remastered data over to the next Elder Scrolls. Which would be smart. And cool. Because anyone who buys a remastered Skyrim, which I feel like will be a shit ton of people, will be able to transfer their data from one game to the next if they'd make another if they make a Skyrim 2 which will be extremely easy and if they don't they also have they should also make something like the uh, Dragon Age which Dragon Age keep which also make things not as easy but simple enough for people to get uh, I feel like it gives people more than enough time to get Skyrim 2 the uh, because Skyrim mastered at least is what I meant not Skyrim 2 because it will be another few years before the game comes out and you have all that time to get the next the next Skyrim and or if there's going to be a Skyrim 2 it gives you all that time to get Skyrim and play through it and get your data in and get what you want because I'm sure by another th three years after it comes out it'll be relatively cheap um <laughs> so it's gonna be nice uh but that would be really cool if your data gets transferred over and then you can play through it what you want like do the Stormcocks win or the Empire wins what happens with the uh, with the Eldmary Dominion in Skyrim? What the hell happens with Talos? Does he continue to be outlawed? Does he not continue to be outlawed? Does the Empire step up to the Eldmary Dominion or no? Does what happens to the Thieves Guild? What happens to the Dark Brotherhood? What happens to all these things? I want to know. What happens to the Dragonborn? Does the Dragonborn just live out his days as the Dragonborn or does he die? Does he play a part in the next Elder Scrolls? There's a lot of questions I want to know and don't have answers to. And... <laughs> My damn, my god damn it, I want to know. Uh, so personally, I believe the next Elder Scrolls should either take place in Skyrim or it's going to be a great war based in Alan, elsewhere or Valenwood. I just, I really don't believe Argonia is actually going to be it. I don't believe it. I feel like it's too hey, far away like from both the Empire and the Eldermaid Dominion for anything to happen, especially since it seems to be the big, big topic in, in the actual storyline, in the actual story. In Skyrim, they, like, there's always tensions are really hot between the Empire and Eldermary Dominion. It's supposed to be at the Stormcloak Rebellion like, going against it because they want to worship Talos and they hate the High Elves having an authority in there. So it's all interesting to see and I want to know what's going to happen. And there's so many questions, I don't know. I want to know your guys' opinion. Do you think it's going to be based in Ellisware or Valenwood or is it going to be placed in Skyrim again? Or do you think I'm completely wrong and think Argonia is real? I want to know your guys' opinions. Uh, please leave a comment below. I'll read them and I'll let I'll tell you my opinions based off of them. But please like and subscribe, guys, and I will see you guys around.